So let us start with uh, unit one, which is introduction to electronic system design. <coughs> So in the previous class, we discussed what is electronic system design means. And we took a simple case study. We took a robot example. We designed that particular robot by using uh, motors. And we designed the drivers for that. And then we made the robot uh, to move forward, reverse, left and right, depending upon the requirement by a given time delay by using a controller and then eventually we saw what are the various components in that particular uh, robot product. So if you uh, take that particular robot, the major components that were involved uh, uh, in the robot component was uh, the first one is of course the uh, controller. the Arduino second one we of course we wrote some code uh, for telling the Arduino what exactly it has to do so for uh, three seconds it has to move forward three seconds it has to move reverse and another for three seconds it has to move left and right so forth so we instructed the Arduino by writing a small piece of code and then we also had peripheral devices here. Peripheral devices, in this case, uh, we had uh, motors. We had, uh, you know, the motor controlling uh, L293D. That is a peripheral IC. Motor is a peripheral uh, device. So all these things we controlled by using our controller. In certain cases, we also use sensors. Uh, for building this. But these four things, you know, uh, formed components of this robot. So if you take in general any electronic system, okay, any electronic system in general, if you take, if you see what are the building blocks. There are four building blocks in that particular electronic system. The important building block are the, uh, you know, the top of the pyramid of that particular thing is the processor or the controller. In our case, the controller, what we are going to use is Arduino. Of course, it is also possible to design electronic systems without controllers. But using controllers, uh, if you design an electronic product, you can very easily design them in shortest possible time with much ease. And you can, you can also add a lot of intelligence to the system. So adding a controller always helps you. A controller means any device which works based on a program. Okay, so in this case, we are using an Arduino controller. So that is the first block. The second important block, okay, so the second important component that we need is the coding part. The code is a very important part that help you to give intelligence to this controller. The third important part is the peripheral device. Okay, what are the various peripheral devices we have? We have LEDs, we have switches. We have LCD displays, we have relays, we have motors. All these peripheral devices can act as either input device or output device, and uh, they are used for designing a system. 
The fourth one is, of course, this sensor. Sensors are used to know what is happening around the system. They act as eyes, nose, ears of the system. There are various sensors available to sense various parameters. We can use temperature sensor, we can use pressure sensor, we can use flow sensor, we can use light sensor, we can use motion sensor, we can use accelerometer. We can put n number of sensors. Each sensor can measure or sense a particular physical parameter, be it is light or temperature or sound, whatever it is. So putting it all together, you form an electronic system. So, if you take an electronic system, major, you have four blocks. One is a controller. If I say the controller, invariably it has a code for controlling it. Code is nothing but the instruction that I give for my controller to do an activity associated with peripheral devices, clubbed with sensors, and putting it all together form a one electronic system. So this is going to be the introductory class for this particular subject. I want you to listen a recorded version of this particular uh, topic that I have already discussed in, the, in a forum. That forms a basis for today's class. So I'll just play that particular uh, video to you. you just carefully uh, pay attention and listen that. 